is Professor Ken, and I'd like to talk to you today about the cost and the price of your product. It's important that every business out there develops a product or a service that brings value to the consumer. We're in business for one thing, most of us, and that's to generate a profit. In order to generate a profit, we have to know our cost. This is important to understand. A lot of business entrepreneurs and startups just don't understand the value of the importance of knowing what your costs are. So let's take a look at that in this example here to help us prepare our pricing. Generally speaking, we want to make a profit if we're a company. Some companies like to make 10%, some 5%, some 15 others even 30%. If you're a retailer, we price things up twice as much as what we pay for it. We call that keystoning it. So if we pay 50 cents for it as a retailer, we might sell it for $1. Now, that 50 cents doesn't mean it's your profit because now we have to back out a lot of our expenses. Generally speaking, we could bucket our expenses into several categories. The first category I like to bucket our expenses in would be your cost of goods sold. That's C-O-G-S, COGS for short. Generally speaking, in this example, the product that we're selling for a dollar cost us 50 cents. Okay, So if we look at an example, we have one dollar minus 50 cents, which is your COGS, cost of goods sold, will bring us down to about a 50 cent equivalent. Now, that 50 cents is still not our profit. We still have to back out other expenses. One good line of expenses to back out, and again, I like to bucket the expenses into just two or three buckets, is what I call the S, G, and A, which is selling general and administrative expenses. Sometimes that's salaries, sometimes that's cost of selling product. You basically bucket everything here. Generally speaking, a company shouldn't have an SG&A expense over 10, 12% at the high end. If you take that 10% off the revenue, your SG&A will be 10 cents, okay? The next line that we need to bucket expenses into could be our marketing expense. I like to separate our marketing expenses because generally speaking, when launching a new product or a service, you really have to focus on marketing the product. A good number here would be 10% at a minimum. At the high end, you might want to spend as much as 20 to 30% to really get the message out. So let's just say in this particular case, it's 20% of your total revenue. 20% of a dollar would give you 20 cents. So far, we have three buckets of expenses. We have COGS, which is 50%. We have SG&A, which is 10%. And then we have marketing, which is 20%. Those are your costs. Now, if you add up your SG&A, your marketing, and your COGS, that's 50, 20, and 10, you have 80 cents. You deduct 80 cents from your total revenue, and your gross profit is 20 cents. Now. I'm not an accountant and you should always seek financial advice and accounting advice from financial and accounting professionals when setting up your books. But that 20 cents is your gross profit, okay? You can use that to put in your pocket, to pay expenses, to pay taxes, to grow the business and do a lot of different things with it. So again, here's the importance here. In order to know your cost, you have to understand your cost of goods. You have to understand what your SG&A is, your selling general and administrative expenses, or all your overhead expenses. And you have to understand your marketing cost to launch a product. Sometimes we call these expenses variable and fixed. We have variable expenses and we have fixed expenses, or variable cost and fixed cost. You put those two together, that will give us total cost. So if you understand your total cost, you back that out of your revenue, you'll have your gross profit. That'll help you understand what money you have to reinvest in the business, reinvest in the product, or help grow the company the way you want to grow. So remember, keep an eye on your cost. One of the first things that kill most new products 
and most new companies is not understanding their work.